This educational podcast from the American Soybean Association is brought to you by Brandt, maker of Brandt Smart System Folio Nutrients. Thanks for listening, everybody. I'm Alex Lovedall, your host, but I'm sitting here with two guys that you're going to want to hear from. Ed Corrigan, who manages the research farms for Brandt in Central Illinois. Ed, how are we doing today? Doing great. Awesome. I'm also sitting here with Brian Hashmeyer, who is the Director of Discovery and Innovation for Brandt. Brian, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Glad to be here. So today we're going to dive into soybean nutrition and fertility. And interestingly enough, Brian, you helped Randy Dowdy, who recently broke the soybean world record with 190 bushels per acre. You helped him put together his nutrition plan for this year. So what were some of the things that you and Randy looked at together at the beginning of his planting season to make sure that his nutrition needs were going to be met? Well, for for Randy, getting the crop off to a good start is is key. That's highly important to him, but it's also highly important to pretty much every soybean grower I've ever met. And one of the challenges that's really facing all growers is we're planting earlier. So one of our targets is to improve the soil environment around the seed and and prime it and create a nutrient-rich environment where we got good microbial activity. So we've been doing that with Randy for a while. And the product he used this year was Brandt Ends Up Zinc. And that really just creates a nice environment where you have those enzymes breaking down that organic matter, releasing lots of nutrients and causing that microbial population around it to spike. Now, Ed, you manage Brandt's research farms in central Illinois where you're running a lot of soybean trials, or as you like to call them, prairie pearls. So are the things that they're looking at at the beginning of their planting season similar to what you're doing on your research and on your farms? So we're seeing the same things in in Illinois and throughout the Corn Belt. As growers plant earlier, they really need to have good seed treatments, number one, but also the nutrition there. We are still focused at trying to figure out ways to get that soil jump-started through products like Ends Up, and zinc is important in that. Randy's a guy who takes his nutrition and tissue testing very, very serious. Um, so what were some of the things that you guys looked at moving on to the next crop stage in that V3 to R1 stage to, again, meet his nutrition needs? From a micronutrient perspective, we've really been focused on the, the zinc and the manganese. Um, zinc is really critical for plant health and stress reduction. Manganese is, is all about photosynthesis and creating photosynthates. We all know that sugar is important. And getting those sugars to translocate to the developing pods is critical. Boron would be the other one. He's got sandy acidic soils down there. Boron is critical for for cell division and the development of the xylem and the phloem. If you don't have enough boron, you're not going to translocate sugars very well. It's also critical for flower development and pod set. Now, Ed, jumping back to Illinois, what are some of the things that you're looking at for your prairie pearls in that V3 to R1 stage? So very similarly, we are looking at those same elements, zinc, manganese, boron, to give us the photosynthates, utilize the sunshine as quickly as we can, but then also boron is so instrumental as we learn more about it. We can use those three elements to push the plants into early flower development. Flower development and at a V5 stage is ideal. So I'm hearing a lot of micronutrients out of both of you. And with the Brandt Smart System foliar applications, you're able to get these micros into the plant. But what's the move here? Do you mix them with herbicide, insecticide, fungicide? you got to run across the field on their own with them. Can they mix together? What's going on? Well, most growers have a, a couple of opportunities to get out pre-bloom, depending on how they manage their herbicides. Uh, and a lot of the herbicides can put a little bit of stress on, on soybeans in particular. Zinc, because it really helps alleviate some stress issues. Uh, manganese... Not a lot of people realize it, but it's really important to metabolize foreign compounds or chemicals like herbicides in the plant. And what we've seen is from both those nutrients is those plants really get out of that stress a lot faster and get back into growing. And that's been really beneficial. The other thing I do like, a lot of people think of boron later, which is still really important, but setting those boron levels up early, um, right before it starts to go into flowering and pod set, I think is really important too. So moving on through the life cycle of the plant, looking at pre-bloom and kind of pod fill stages, the plant's starting to get some size to it. What are the, the nutrients that that plant needs at that point um, to prosper? So we take those zinc, manganese, boron, which tends to be either like a trio or a quattro, the smart B, and we'll add to that in boost. It actually helps the plant to metabolize the nitrogen that's coming from those nodules and put it to good use. And the last part then is once we move 
beyond Podville, do not miss that opportunity to once again reapply those same elements. Randy and yourselves are pretty intense when it comes to your nutrient management plans, but what are some easy steps that maybe somebody who is not as intense can take to be a little bit more proactive with their micronutrients? Well, one of the things we've learned is that soybeans can be very responsive to management. And it's a difficult question to give out one statement for all growers because there's so many different soil types across the, the soybean growing. And uh, so I urge you to kind of understand your soil systems and try to pick out what, what you want to build off. But zinc and manganese and iron, somewhere in that with boron, there is a system that can really help you guys thrive and get the plants off to a good start. So we've covered a lot of great information today, a lot of nutrient needs for soybeans, a lot of great products from Brandt. Uh, So we appreciate the time and all the insights from you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. It was a lot of fun. If you're looking for more information about Brandt products or where to buy them, you can head to www.brandt.co. Also, if you want to hear from Brian Hashmeyer, you got questions, comments for him, you can reach out to him on Twitter, at info to grow. Thanks so much for listening, everybody. This educational podcast from the American Soybean Association was brought to you by Brandt, maker of Brandt Smart System Folio Nutrients.